In this lecture, we solve an example from assignment one. The question mentioned that steam leaves the steam generator, means the boiler, at 80 bar and 500 Celsius, then enters the turbine with this pressure and temperature. The steam leaves the turbine at a pressure 10 kilopascal, which is 0 0.1 bar. Then the condenser delivers uh, the liquid to the pump. The turbine and pump efficiencies are on reversibility of the turbine and the pump, each 88%. The mass flow rate for the steam flowing through the system is 79.3 kg per second. The question asks to determine the net power of the plant, the thermal efficiency of the cycle, and the amount of the uh, uh, cooling water that should uh, use to uh, condense the steam in the condenser. To solve the problem, we first have to draw the temperature entropy diagram of the cycle. Again, from the cycle, as you see, the state one, which is the uh, exit from the boiler and enter, enters to the, of the turbine, it's superheated steam. It means a state one uh, enthalpy and entropy should be picked from the superheated steam uh, side. As you see here, superheated steam side at a pressure 80 bar and temperature 500 Celsius, the enthalpy is 3398 kilojoule per kilogram and the entropy 6.723 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. And that both uh, enthalpy and entropy will be used in our calculation. To find state two, we have to consider the efficiency of the turbine. So there is an ideal state, which here represent two, and there is an actual state, which represent by two prime. So to find two prime, first we have to find the ideal case two, and then using the efficiency of the turbine, uh, we can find the enthalpy of the actual uh, state that exited from the turbine. So, we have to use the formula of uh, the expression S is equal SF plus X times SFG. To find first the dryness fraction or the quality of the steam ideally leaves the turbine, it would be 0.81 it means 81 percent uh, uh, quality and the same, same formula but here you have to apply for the enthalpy we can find the ideal enthalpy of the steam leaves the turbine in other words h2 is equal hf plus x2 hfg and the calculation uh, uh, provide us with uh, a number 2130 almost kilojoule per kilogram. Now we need to find the ideal, uh, uh, the actual, sorry, the actual enthalpy exit from the turbine. So using the isotropic turbine efficiency, which is the ratio between the uh, actual work, H1 minus H2, to the ideal work, which is H1 minus H2. So, from this equation, we can find H2 prime, it means the actual enthalpy of the steam leaving turbine, and would be 2,281 kilojoule per kilogram. So, we should continue to find the uh, enthalpies of 3, which is the exit of the uh, condenser, and 4 prime, which is the exit of the uh, pump. So state 3 simply from the steam table and at point 1 bar, the uh, saturated liquid uh, enthalpy uh, would be 192 kilojoule per kilogram. To find H4, 
again we have first find the ideal uh, exit uh, enthalpy of the pump using the pump work formula which is h4 minus hd hd is equal to the specific volume of the water 0 0.001 or 1000 times the pressure drop or pressure increase across the pump from p3 to p4 then after we we found h4 which is almost about 200 we have to use the efficiency of the pump to find the uh, actual uh, enthalpy after we found all the enthalpies uh, around the cycle now we can start finding the requirement first the net power in kilowatt the net power simply it, the power of the cycle is can be found by subtracting the uh, pump work from the turbine work so uh, the work net power work of the cycle is mass times enthalpy drop across the turbine minus mass of steam times the enthalpy change across the pump and that end up with uh, uh, almost 87.8 megawatt or 87,800 kilowatt the thermal efficiency based on the equation of thermal efficiency which is the work net divided by the Q supplied or the heat supply to the uh, cycle we know that the heat supply in the boiler uh, is equal to uh, mass of steam times h1 minus h4 prime and uh, uh, that is equal to about 25 uh, 253,515 kilowatt so based on this two uh, numbers that mean the net power and the q added we can find the efficiency which is 34.6 percent finally to find the mass of flow rate of condensed water cooling water that we have to use it to cool the uh, uh, steam down and uh, condense it we should use the heat balance equation the heat balance it means the amount of heat that uh, release f from the steam uh, to the water is taken by the amount of the heat taken by the water to uh, change its temperature from 15 to 35 and using this heat balance the mass of flow rate of steam will be calculated as 1987 kilograms per second.